Grease stories for today. Skype has been hacked. Antimatter has been captured for a record time. And a new semi solid battery. A Russian hacker recently reverse engineered Skype. What this means is he's pretty much made his own version of Skype unlocked and everything so he can use it at his own will. And since his version is almost identical to the original Skype, he has posted the source code on the internet. And his reason for this, he was trying to make Skype open source. And they're trying to decide about legal issues between this and everything else. It's not like he's a normal hacker trying to hide out in an area and not be known about. He actually wants people to know about this and wants attention from it. He seems to be more of an attention freak. Scientists were able to capture antimatter for 15 minutes, which, to be able to capture antimatter, you can't touch it with any actual matter, otherwise, it destroys whatever antimatter is. I, I wish they would explain to us like what antimatter is, because. Me personally, they have no freaking idea. <laughs> but apparently, it's not matter, and you can capture it with the use of like gravitational forces and touch with lasers and non matter materials, is the only way you can capture this. But they have captured it for 15 minutes with a new method they've used called a magnetic bottle, which is using magnetic currents to capture it in between hydrogen atoms, is what it was. And this allows them much greater time to be able to study what this quote unquote material, not really material, is. Yet again, researchers at MIT have invented a new technology to help the ever growing use of EV cars. They have invented a semi solid sort of energy storing liquid. It looks like crude oil and is able to store energy just like a battery. And the concept of this is instead of having a large battery in your car, one day, you can just like go to a gas tank, this liquid will store energy and when you pump it into your car like gasoline now, it will give your energy, electric energy to use, and like a battery which is heavier, it's said to be half as heavy and half the cost. The only problem I see about this is it has the potential to make huge messes and I don't see it. If you have a liquid that has hundreds and maybe even thousands of watts stored inside of this liquid somehow. Maybe it has to have a chemical reaction to get the power, but I don't think I even want that close to me. Like, it could be like gasoline exploding in a fire, but this could be just randomly like react with something around. If it gets anywhere, then it could poison you or anything else just as bad as gasoline could. It could pollute the environment and so forth. Those are the stories today. Remember to thumbs up that video down below. Subscribe if you're not. And thanks for watching.